Hello everybody, it's Tuomo from CodePulse.blog and in today's video we will learn how to use CSS modules with Create React App. But before we get started I just want to quickly make sure that you know about Skillshare. Skillshare is a learning community with thousands of online courses from different topics. I personally use Skillshare whenever I have to learn some new skills. They have a monthly subscri subscription that costs about $14 per month, but if you register now through the link in the description, you will get two months for free. So if you are not yet familiar with Skillshare, be sure to check that out. But let's get started with the CSS modules. So CSS modules, uh, I assume you're somewhat familiar with them. A CSS module is a CSS file which all class names and animation names are scoped locally, locally by default. And when you are importing CSS module from a JS module, it exports an object with all mappings from local names to global names. So you can uh, reference the styles like this. But to get started, I have I I have Visual Studio Code here. I have my Create React app initialized. I haven't done any modifications yet, so it's uh, it's just out of the setup. And if I open my terminal, I should have my uh, development server running. Yes, it looks like it is. And in our browser, we have the uh, web page. Good. So how would we add CSS modules to create React app? First of all, I'm gonna delete uh, some code from the default template like this. So we only have a div and I'm gonna type in just hello to see that everything is working correctly. And looks like it is. Uh, Next, we will make a very, very uh, simple example how to add CSS styles to the components. So I'm going to create a button here with the text, this is a button. Then I'll create another button and with the text, this is a red button and I'll actually add here blue. So we have a blue button and a red button. Now if we save this, flip, flip back to the browser, we can see the two buttons here. Great. Next up, I'm gonna create a CSS, CSS file with the style, uh, styles that will be applied to our buttons. So I'm gonna call it button styles.css. And inside here I will add a class with name red or excuse me, let's add blue first. And we will set the background color blue. And then a red button with background color red. We have two styles now. Uh, I'm gonna open up my app.js and import the button styles here. Like so. And based on CSS modules, I should be able to uh, add those styles to my buttons by referencing them in the class name attribute. So let's try that. We add class name equals button styles dot uh, this was blue and for the red button class name button styles and red like so. So now we should have the styles in the button styles CSS 
and then we reference them from the app component with the button styles dot blue and button styles dot red. So let's save everything and flip back to the browser. And it looks like the styles aren't working, so they are not applied. And this is something that uh, create React app you need to know, or this is something that that's funny with create React app that uh, there is already the configuration to use CSS modules inside uh, create React app. But in order to use the CSS modules, you need to have a specific name for your CSS files that act as CSS modules. So for this example, uh, the specific name is like this. So if you want to use a CSS file as a CSS module in Create React App, you need to name it uh, with dot module dot CSS. So we have button styles dot module dot CSS. And now I renamed the file and changed the import here. And when I save this and flip back to the browser, I can see that the styles are now applied. So once again, uh, with Create React App, if you want to use CSS modules, you need to name your files, uh, the file name dot module dot CSS. This way, Create React App knows that you want to use it as a module, as a CSS module, and uh, then you import it to your component and you can use it as a CSS module. This is a very basic example of, of using the CSS modules. But yeah, uh, that's it for now. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. And if you liked it, please uh, leave a like, subscribe, and see you in the next video.